So I'm here with James and Lingero, and uh, for you guys that are on the uh, the pilot chat, he's the the guy that you speak to to do your English language proficiency for your uh, conversions. Yes, yeah, so basically, my, uh, Lingero is a company which is approved to do ARSA language proficiency, uh, which is approved to do ARSA language proficiency uh, exams. And we do, uh, we do them either on uh, a video conference system, so you can do it from anywhere, or if you're in the Bordeaux area in France or at one of the places where we organise tests, we organise tests all over France, you can come and do the test uh, on site with one of our examiners. And we also do training from time to time for British pilots flying in France to learn sort of basic radio calls for when they go to uncontrolled airfields in France and also to learn about the, the particular procedures that we have in France which differ from, from, from some other countries. I think every European country has its own kind of uh, little uh, idiosyncrasies. So we've now set up the base in uh, Bordeaux at uh, Sawcats, Lima Fox, Charlie Sierra, which is a French language uh, airfield. So. All the pilots that come here, we have to speak basic um, circuit French. So James is going to go through some of the uh, basic circuit uh, French with us. I've been learning it, and when you come here to do your hour building, you need to know it. So we're going to make a video, and as of uh, the next couple of weeks, when you come to uh, Bordeaux to do your hour building, we will be uh, giving you a quick little test on uh, your basic French circuit uh, information. So James will go through uh, from uh, taxi to, actually we should do engine start. Yeah, well the engine start is not really important. because Taxi, lining up, departing, and then we'll do uh, left downwind, oh, no, it's, uh, yeah. We'd say that we we always announce to the airfield that we're five minutes out and then I'll do a two minute out and then I'll do a one minute out and then we do an overhead join and then we'll do downwind depending on which air, uh, runway it is. Also, when you speak in French, they do not say um, two one, they'll say the full number. So it's venti uno. And, uh, but the zeros, they will say zero and then whatever the number is, here it's zero trois. So if you go through where you're... Okay, so what we have done basically is we've created an ultra simplified and dare I say idiot proof way of doing basic French circuit calls. So this method that we've created, it doesn't suit people who actually speak French, who can actually speak real French. There's a very big difference between actually speaking French and making yourself understood with our really basic radio calls. Um, bearing in mind that for an uncontrolled airfield, all you have to do is make yourself understood and let other people in the circuit know that you're there. So what we've done is we've taken the absolute basics and we've kind of designed a way of doing the messages which allows non-French speaking pilots to make themselves understood as quickly as possible. So the absolute first thing you need to do is to learn the numbers from 1 to 36. And as Clifford said, uh, the thing to remember is that the, 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 the runways that are two digits, so for example here would be runway 21, we'd say in English, in French would be 21, so 21 rather than, uh, rather than 21. So first thing to do is to learn the numbers from 1 to 36, obviously for the runway numbers. Then what we need to do is we need to learn how to announce what we're doing. Now again, because this is ultra simplified, we're not learning to make full sentences, we're just learning to say something which will be intelligible. So we've taken words or nouns which refer to the act of what you're doing. So if you start from the ground, let's imagine we're going to leave the uh, apron and fly around a circuit. So the first thing we're going to do is taxi. So the act of taxiing in French is roulage. So if I want to say I'm taxiing to holding point uh, runway 21, I would say roulage 21. Or if it's runway 03, roulage 03. And that's all you need to say, nothing else. Same thing when we get to the holding point. People need to know if I'm lining up on the runway. So the act of lining up is alignement. So I'm just going to say alignement 21 or alignement 03. 
And then I'm going to announce, obviously, that I'm taking off. So the act of taking off is décollage. So décollage 21. And then we come to the... Um, I was going to say, just a quick one. What's holding? Holding, c'est je maintiens. Because if you're... Because if you're going to hold and there's someone coming... Yeah, if you, if you want to, to let someone know that you're holding your position, the word hold in French is maintenir. The verb to hold is maintenir. So the easiest way to say is je maintiens. I'm holding. I'm holding my position. So then I come round to the uh, to the downwind. So downwind is vent arrière. And then base is base. And then final is final. And then obviously with, with the runway number just after. So that's basically your, your uh, aerodrome circuit. And when you're arriving, again, same thing. We want to make the messages as simple as possible. Um, A, because um, you don't want to have too much to remember. And B, because by saying it that way, you kind of transmit the message to everybody else on the frequency that you're not, particularly, uh, that you're not a particularly proficient French speaker, but at least they know that you're there. Uh, so that you can, they, they can keep out of your way. Um, so let's imagine, for example, um, I'm arriving from the east. So four things to learn here. North, south, east, west. So north is nord. East is est. South is sud. West is well, west, the same as in English. So the four main, uh, shall we say, uh, magnetic directions we need to be able to, to say. So let's say, for example, we are arriving from the east and we'll be overhead the airfield in five minutes. So then I can say my call sign and then I'll say, arrivé par l'est, vertical dans cinq minutes. So arriving from the east and I will be overhead in five minutes. Again, very simplified, but it gets the job done. Then when we get overhead the airfield, so the overhead is vertical. So I would say vertical, and then I can say for the, uh, for the join, the word to join the circuit is intégration. Uh, a join, the act of joining is intégration. So I can say vertical, intégration, and then I can put the runway number. So vertical, intégration, 21, or vertical, intégration, 03. And then the rest of the circuit just goes as we saw earlier. There we go. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fly the circuit and we're going to record uh, James doing the uh, circuit calls and then we'll do a second video of myself doing the radio calls and just see how bad it is. So look out for those videos and also uh, I'll make available the, uh, the sheets for people to learn. So we're going to basically make available the numbers and the radio calls and they're in PDF so you can download. And as I say, coming to the, our building in Bordeaux, we'd like you to be at this basic level as you arrive. And you can find all of the information about the circuit calls on lingero.com. There's a whole page, and you can also download the uh, PDF crib sheets to keep with you in the aircraft uh, when, you're, when you're flying. And we'll make a link available on the uh, below.